Hello folks, welcome to our channel, Channel Jose. Today we're gonna show you, give you an idea why you get the stinky smell out of the dash bands when you turn on the AC or the heater core. And the reason of that is because sometimes there's this dark spot, uh, bacteria starts building up, and it's really, really hard to get in there and trying to clean those uh, heater cores or the AC core, so, or the evaporator. So trying to clean those areas is really hard. So today we're gonna show you how you can get rid of those smells because sometimes you might be driving with somebody as a passenger, it might be your girlfriend, uh, uh, your boss or somebody that you don't want them to smell that kind of smell that coming out of the vent. And then what, well, what, you, what can you do? Well, today we're gonna show you how you can keep a good quality of air inside your car cab. And with that, let's get started. And the first thing you can do to improve the quality of your air inside the cab is to change your filter. So what you can do is you get a new filter for the cabin. If the car comes equipped with the filter, you replace the filter. That will increase the quality of the air in the cab. Because sometimes these collect moisture or a lot of dust and then bacteria starts building up and they starts creating the awful smell or just uncomfortable smell that when, every time you turn on the, the fans on the for the dash it, that smell is gonna blow into that the cab and then you're gonna have a smelly cab so with that you change your filter if your car comes equipped with a filter some older cars they don't have the option so it, you can replace the filter but for that we're gonna show you another trick but for this car we're gonna replace the filter and then we're gonna you can check it every about every six months and then uh, if you start smelling that awful smell or that uncomfortable smell out of the dash bands, you might want to check your filter and then or replace it if you don't know when you replace it. So with that, we'll replace the filter and we're going to show you another trick as well. So we took out this filter and look at it. It's just filthy. It has a pieces of grass, all that sorts of stuff on it so we're gonna replace it and compare it to the new one so as you can see folks look at the new one and look at the old filter and it's just trash falling off of it so we're gonna put the new filter and this is trash now another thing we have to know the airflow of the filter so they have arrows pointing on the direction of the air so you gotta make sure that you put the arrow where the air is coming from and where it's going to so you follow that so this filter will be like this arrows pointing down because the flow comes from the bulb. You have replaced a cabin air filter and now the all the crap that is in there is no longer going to be obstructing the air coming into the, through the vents. So, but you still got that, uh, the smell that is, you can't get rid of it. Well, if you turn on your key and then you turn on your fan, you can still smell it. So you, how can you get rid of that smell? We're gonna show you another trick that you can do to improve the quality of air inside the cab of your car. So now you'll be asking yourself why you got the hood open when the problem is in the cab. Well, what we're gonna be doing is we're, there's right, we have to open the hood right here. There's a bend that takes the air from the outside and it draws it and it puts it in the cab through the fan but it goes through the filter and then it goes through those coils, the AC and the heater cores. And this, what we're gonna be using is Lysol. So we're gonna be turning the cab fans on. So we're gonna be drawing or sucking air from the outside into the cab. And as that's going, we're gonna be spraying this, we're gonna be spraying this on the vent. So that draws the, the product and it goes through all the components. And this is gonna kill any bacteria or any stuff that is caught into any of the components because the Lysol kills bacteria, viruses, and eliminates odors. So we're gonna spray it while this is going. And then once we do that, we let it circulate for a little bit. So now what you do, I just spray a little bit. We got our fan going and we're sucking air from the outside. And all you have to do is you just spray the Lysol right into the vent that is coming from the outside into the cab. And you do a couple sprays like this so that air draws in the product. So that's good. And then we let it circulate for a little bit. That way it, it goes through the whole system. So this Lysol is, is gonna do its job. We let our cab air circulate for a while. So now it smells just like Lysol. So we're gonna let the windows down so the air goes away. So the first thing we did is we changed our bad filter, clog and dirty filter. So hopefully that was gonna be the problem, but it didn't get rid of the whole problem. 
So what we did next, we started using Lysol and what it does is cleans and kills bacteria that creates my bad smell. So by doing that, you're helping your system to get new uh, fresh air smell. This is a pretty simple step and cheap that you can do at home. You don't have to take it to shops to get this done. So you can do it on the comfort of your home and take your time. If you got bad smell or odors going on inside the cab, replace your cab filter. It becomes equipped with one. And if you replace that and that smell still there, use some Lysol and that's gonna help improve the quality of air in your cab. Pretty simple stuff. So for those who haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe to our channel. And if you like our video, give us thumbs up, share it, and we'll see you soon with more videos here in El Canal El Chano Jose.